the students in UA High School's Hero Course were instructed to use their winter vacations to do work studies at pro agencies. Only Classic Way would be excited about that. Can you imagine being excited about being given an assignment over winter break? Hiroshima, Tetsu Tetsu, yeah, they got history. Are learning from fat gum. I love how Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima are together. Definitely learning a lot while working under different I see you, Gang Orca. I see you, Samurai Man. Is there a reason you wanted a new costume made? Come on, you can tell me. Well, if you really want to know, it's... For Deku? For Deku. No poker face. Who knows? Consider this your welcome party, ladies. <laughs> what a nice place to work. Cheers! Alright, that was pleasant. Yes, more internships. Give me the life advice that I crave. I've talked a little bit about my time as a stockbroker and how it started with an internship. This reminds me of that because I feel like my bosses at that time had really mastered the art of making you feel happy to be there because what they did was they just super hazed in the beginning. Like they gave everyone the most meaning, meaningless tasks, menial tasks, and made all the interns feel like you could take it or leave it. Like there's the door if you don't like it, you know what I mean? And out of the, I think 10 or so people that were hired in my round, I think it was just me and one other person that stuck it out. And as soon as that was established, as soon as we had like passed through that initial barrier, they threw everyone a huge party and it was amazing and like flashed all this money, spared no expense, and brought all the, the employees and all the former interns there who clearly had established really strong bonds with the bosses and each other and made it feel like this is the place to be. You know, this is the place you want to be. You stick it out, you put your head down and do the hard work, and this glory can be yours, you know what I mean? And it wasn't an illusion either. I mean, working there was some of the most difficult times I ever had in my life, but also some of the most fun and just thrilling. There's always just so much ground that can be covered and so much glue that can be formed by just having great social structures in place. Now on to our next story. After a week of intense flames, the, the devastation just continues, one bad event after another. Has finally started the Caruso goes round and round, merry-go-round. Site manufacturing the illegal drug called Trigger. Trigger? Bad people use it to send their quirks into overdrive. She's right. Apparently, it enhances your power and makes you stronger. I remember in Sue's boat episode, I was joking about like, oh no, drugs. I didn't know how big of a thing it would be in the show. Little did I know. Hey, unidentified ship. Stop immediately. These are Japan's territorial seas. You can't just sail through... Hey, speaking of the boat episode. If you don't stop. That is not a cute look. <laughs> Just doing that in plain sight. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm getting Rod Rice Titan vibes. It's no good. We've lost the ship. Not seeing anything on radar either. Damn. He's got radar though, no? Sonar. Time to request a team up. But who should we try contacting? Hawks. Number 10 on the billboard chart. Number 10. The Dragoon Hero. Got Ryukyu. it. And Sue is there. Reconnection here. I like how the heroes also, like, collab. Gravity, Froppy, Nedrechan, let's get ready. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Ryukyu is heeding their call. Yes, man! Long time no see, Selkie. Yeah, I didn't realize how relevant that comment would be. So dependable. It makes Selkie happy. <laughs> Not a cute look. So I don't know, I still think it's cute. I like it. Thanks again for taking care of me during my internship. A little flashback for those who didn't watch that episode. You and Sirius taught me important concepts every hero should know. <laughs> certainly grown up. This is very wholesome. I feel... To the face. So there you go. So not cute. So cute. It's polarizing. It's polarizing. Fun as this reunion's been, I need you ladies down on the beach. Hey, we got a beach episode after all. Look at this! Out of nowhere. Is this what Selkie had in mind? The best way to recharge your batteries. Yes, exactly. This is the best internship ever. This guy gets it. Now this is the guy I want to work for. <laughs> this is not just any ordinary beach day. My god, they're making this beach day look good. It's underrated. You know, I mean, I look forward to these kinds of things at work. In my work experience, I found that it's hard to predict how much you'll like doing something because so much of it comes down to the intangibles. And one of the biggest intangibles is just what the quality of the social relationships is. If I'm able to form good relationships with people there, especially if those dynamics take life outside of just the work environment, I'm just way more likely to look forward to going in. You wanted my team to experience peace so they'd be driven to protect it. This should put them in the right mind. Yeah, we'll be ready to crack some drug dealer skulls later. Dragon hero, were you cute? Quark, yeah. dragon. Honestly, the name pretty much speaks for itself. It does. It's really fortunate that, you know, all the people who have these animal quirks or whatever that are able to transform Quark in and out surge. of it. She converts her life force into powerful shockwaves. She also happens to be a beauty queen. 
He can also make with his sonar, sonar like sounds yeah, and right. use the echoes to determine the location of his opponent. He also can make really cute faces. Or not cute faces, depending on how you feel about it. In that case, head to point four three. Roger that. Who's gonna find them first? That sound. I hear the captain. Serious. Quirk. Good, good ear. ear. She can detect high <laughs> yeah, she's your grandma. That most humans her grandma's quirk. Here. Talk to my good ear. They found us. What? Where? We're jamming their radars. From the sky. Repeat that. This guy forgets for a second. He lives in the world of My Hair Academia. <laughs> Reminds me of Red Eye. <laughs> no, no, stop. Rod Rice, stop. I hate it. That doesn't look pretty. No, it doesn't. It's awful. It should be illegal. Oh, I can't even look at it. No, how could they? Please, someone kill this guy. Get him off the screen. <laughs> Thank you, Salty. I love you. Ah, no oh, it's awful. What was that sound? I heard a splash. I've taken control of the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's another boat though. Mewtwo, look, look there behind the boat. Oh, we got a plane. Oh, she's after it. After the plane. Holy crap, what is the range in that tongue? We can catch them. I'm on it, sir. In a boat? Gravity. Just firing Uraka. Assess the situation. <laughs> she's like hurtling through space. That way. I'm sure to succeed. Uraka looking like Tom Cruise out here. What? And she's infiltrating the plane. Show him, yeah, show him your killing skills. Speaking of useful inner chips. Uh, uh -oh. And now fly this plane, Tom Cruise style. No, what's happening? I'm falling. You can make it weightless. If this seaplane goes down out here, then its cargo will leak into the ocean. With these chemicals on board, the whole ecosystem will be... <laughs> oh my god, at the moment like this, she cares about the ecosystem. That's so cute. Think of the fishies. That swim with that turtle ended up being really significant. Something this huge would be basically impossible. That's what I said. Right, it's big. I'm not giving up! Nice. Hey, hey! We did it! The plane's fine! Ryukyu's on it! And so are the fish. Thank God. Back to play. <laughs> play hard, work hard, play hard. And eat really well. Really, really well. They hadn't heard anything Look at them caring about the sea life. Up. There was one thing that we managed to nail down. The smugglers that we intercepted, they were heading for Otheon. Did you say Otheon? Otheon. I guess all's well. Get in's well. Okay. It's not a cute bit. Yeah, I've come to realize that recently. Oh, okay, that's sad. That was dark in its way. Peaceful days pass all too quickly. They just have all this equipment, like banana boat and the parachute and the grill and all this stuff just sitting around. This is always how Silky runs his internships. I got so many questions. Oh, and credit scene. Now then, it's time for us to begin. Got another villain Humanity player. Will soon know salvation. What's the connection with this and the devastation in four months and personal responsibility? Well, it wasn't quite the Endeavor internship of last time, but really feels like they hit the lottery with this internship. I mean, they're allowed to have fun on their winter break. I know it's crazy, right? I feel like the real intent of this episode, besides giving us, you know, just some awesome beach moments and, you know, swimwear, is adding another element to this growing plot that now involves drugs and this other country with this blue figure. And also perhaps a hint that while all the students are doing their separate internships, they're going to intersect, which is kind of exciting because I'm going to take any chance I ever get to have class 1A or 1B for that matter be assembled in unison and a chance to see Selkie's cute or not cute face again.